In this tutorial, I'll show you how to set up a lap count for each of the cars. And when the cars complete a set number of laps, in this case two, the first car to do so wins. Open the file from the end of the tutorial that shows how to make a split screen. You can make the file yourself or download it from my website. Change the layout to the default layout. Change the view to the top view and zoom back with the mouse wheel. Now I want to put a start finish line across the track. Select the track, go into edit mode, scroll down and select the knife tool, hover over the inside edge, click hover over the opposite inside edge and move the knife up and down until the line is horizontal. Press spacebar to confirm, click the knife tool, hover over the inside edge, click, hover over the opposite inside edge, move the knife up and down, click, spacebar to confirm. Select the new face. I'm dragging to make the properties window wider. Click the material button. I'm going to name the track material track and I'm going to make it slightly darker, click hex, I'm going to enter all Bs, making it slightly darker, click the add new material slot button, click the add new material button, and I'm going to call the new material line, click the diffuse color, and I'm going to make that fully white, and to make it stand out even a little bit more, I'm making the intensity one, Click the Assign button to assign the selected face to the material. Go into Object Mode. Add Mesh Cube. Set the layout to Game Logic. With the cube selected, I'm going to add a Near Sensor, an AND controller, and a Message Actuator. Set the subject of the message to bat, short for Batmobile, and link those up. I'm going to use the cube to detect when the cars have completed a lap. For simplicity, I'm going to put the cube behind the cars, set its Y location to minus 10. With the near sensor, the trigger distance is the distance between the two objects' origins, not their bounds, as with the collision sensor. To cover the width of the track, set the distance to be 4, and I'm going to set the reset distance to be 8. Select the empty, click the plus to open up the properties panel, click the add game property button, and call the new property bat. I'm going to use that to store the lap count of the Batmobile. Click the add game property, call the new property sport. I'm going to use that to store the lap count of the sports car. To be able to see the lap number, we need to click the information button to display the property in the debug window. And in the game menu, tick show debug properties. Now I'm going to add a message sensor, an AND controller, and a property actuator to the empty. The message we're looking out for is BAT, and when we receive that message, we send a signal through the AND gate to the property actuator, where we add 1 to the property BAT, which stores the lap count for the Batmobile. Before we can test that, select the cube, click the Physics Properties, and set it to No Collision and Invisible. Now we can test the game, start the game, I'm going to cheat by moving the Batmobile backwards and the lap count goes up by one. But if I start the game again and go backwards with the sports car, the Batmobile lap count goes up. If I put something in the property field, bat, now only objects with a property bat will trigger this near sensor. I'm going to add another near sensor, an AND controller, and a message actuator. And in the property field, I'm going to put sport. So only objects with a property sport will trigger this near sensor. It will send a signal through the AND gate and a message will be broadcast, the subject of which will be sport. Now these near sensors will only work if I select the red car 
open up the properties panel and add a property sport and the Batmobile select the Batmobile and add a property bat select the empty drag to close the properties panel add a message sensor an and controller and a property actuator and clicking the white triangle to close up the always logic brick the message we're looking for is sport and when we receive that message send a signal through the AND gate to the property actuator pan shift and mouse wheel where we will add one to the property sport now did you spot what I forgot to do we didn't set the distance on the near sensor to 4 and the reset distance to 8. Now when we start the game, if I go into reverse with the Batmobile, the back count goes up. And if I go into reverse with the sports car, the sport count goes up. The first car to complete a set number of laps is the winner. When this happens, I'm going to display a message, Batmobile wins or sports car wins. I'm going to put the messages in separate scenes. I'm going to call this scene game, click the add new scene button, click new and call the new scene win bat if the Batmobile wins. Change the layout to default. That takes us back to the game scene. Click the scene browser button, pick up win bat, change blender render to blender game. Add text, go into edit mode, delete the word text, put caps lock on, Batmobile wins, click the font button, scroll down and click center, go into object mode, in the view menu toggle quad view, now every scene must have a camera, add camera, I'm going to change the view to look through the camera. Use the tip of the blue arrow to move the camera up. And we must add a lamp. Add lamp hemi. And use the tip of the blue arrow to move that up. Change the layout to game logic. Change the view to the camera view. If I press P to play, it starts the game engine and we have a problem with the text centering. I'm going to fix that in a moment. First, click the Add New Scene button, click Full Copy, and name the new scene Win Sport for when the sports car wins. Select the text, go into Edit Mode, use the arrow keys and the Backspace Delete key, and Sports Car Wins. Go into object mode. In the object menu, convert to mesh from text. In the browser button, pick up WinBat. Select the text, object, convert to mesh from text. Now if I press P to play, the text displays properly. Click the browse scene button and go back to the game scene. Select the empty and I'm clicking on the white triangles to close up the logic bricks. It's a good idea to give them meaningful names so that you know what they do when they're closed up. I'm going to add two property sensors to monitor the values of the lap counters. I'm going to add two AND controllers and two scene actuators to change the scene to display the win messages. Scroll, shift and mouse wheel. When the Batmobile lap counter is equal to 2, I just have a low number of laps just for test purposes, then we want to display the message saying the Batmobile has 1. Close that up. And when the sports car lap counter is equal to 2, if that happens first, then display the message that the sports car has won. Now if I go backwards and trip the lap counter we've completed one lap. 
If I break and go forwards, we're coming to the end of the second lap. As I come to the finish line, we get Batmobile wins. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put the start and the finish file for you to download at my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.